uh, if we're going to let Rico choose his own adventure, I got a couple of things. David, you say you have some breaking news for us. What do you have? So I actually have two pieces of breaking news, one college football related and one kind of a personal thing for you a little bit, Mike. So oh, the first God. one, what? I'm going to do the college football one. So Notre Dame postponed practice today because some players tested positive for COVID. Pete Thamo is just tweeting out now, the game between Wake Forest and Notre Dame is expected to be postponed. An announcement is expected later this afternoon from both schools. So that's going to happen. And then on the personal it, level for you, Mike. What? The Giants, according to every NFL beat writer, have signed Devonta Freeman. Great. Exactly. I just, I'll move on from that. I'm not, I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. I'm going to bring you it know down. No, you know your season's effed when you're signing a guy off the street. Every team had a shot to sign this guy since the spring. Nobody did. The dude's dead. So there you go. Congratulations, Devontae Freeman. No, literally, I'm not talking about this. All right, let's, let's just move on. Um, choose your own adventure. I got two ways to go with this. I've either got the blame game. Or the choose your own adventure where I tell you, you get one of these two outcomes to the Lions season and you have to pick which one and lock it in right now. So it's the blame game or the future cast. Which one of these do you want me to do? You know what, Mike? As a child, I always loved those choose your own adventure books. Don't we all? Don't yeah. we all? All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I know I have said on the air before. I'm already, now that they're 0-2, I'm in the tank for Trevor mindset. Be bad, just lose, let's clean house, etc. But I want to read to you two outcomes, and you have to pick which. Okay. Choice A, the Lions go 3-13. and They land the number three pick, not the number one. You don't get Trevor Lawrence, but you get Justin Fields, a new GM, and a new coach. The bad news, you don't trade Stafford because he retires. So it's 3-13, three and 13, number three pick, clean house, and Matthew walks. But you got to lock it in right now. Or, choice B, in a stunning turn of events, the Lions rip off nine wins from this point forward. They end up 9-7, and seven, they make the wild card, they go to Seattle to take on Russ and Stafford in a legendary performance. Throws for 383 yards, and the Lions win their first playoff game since 91. They lose the next week in the divisional round. Stafford gets a five-year extension, and Quinn and Patricia return. You must choose one of these two adventures. Choice A you don't get Trevor Lawrence, but you get Justin Fields. You start over, and Stafford walks out on you. No trade. Or choice B, they have a really good season, but you're stuck with guys you don't believe in, and now you're tethered to Stafford for eternity. Choose your own adventure. 248-539-9797. Which of these would you lock in right now? In choice B, do they get knocked out by the 49ers? Cowboys. Oh, okay. That could have swayed my vote. Rico, you won't be there. Your team won't have enough healthy players. I would have been excited, and I would have taken it B just because that means the Niners are in the championship game. Yeah. Well, you um, need no. to write the book. Okay, fine. <sighs> David, you want to confer with this? or you? I think this is a no-brainer, Mike. And I'm looking at the okay. ticket text. And this is okay. a no-brainer. This a, is easily no-brainer for them. A, you choose choice A. You choose choice A because if not, this would be the definition of anomaly. This would be the definition of, you know what, the, everything just lined up perfectly. Except it goes the wrong way. The Lions win. They get a playoff victory. But you are stuck with three people that I don't think have a future here in this city, especially Quinn and Patricia. Stafford getting a five-year deal means, 
Yeah, the conversation that you had about Drew Brees and when's New Orleans going to get him, rid of him, Detroit will never get rid of Stafford, ever, if that's were to happen. You take A, you hit the reset button. I'm fine with Justin Fields. I think that he is going to be a, a good quarterback in the NFL, too. You get new leadership. You get everything going. You got the number three pick. So long as you get uh, Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields, if you're a Detroit fan, you should be happy. Plain and simple. You take A, you finally hit the reset button, and maybe, just maybe, you could build for the future. If you take choice B, man, that is slapping the ultimate Band-Aid on this thing. Yeah, they somehow found a way to go all Wayne Fonts and run the table and win games. But what what did you really get out of it? Did you really need a playoff victory? Because it came at a high cost. And that cost was bringing all of these guys back. Take choice A. I think there is a good number of people who are afraid to call the show who would choose B. Now, I can't prove that. It's The burden of proof is on the listener. I know I'm in choice A, right? I'm in that camp. And I made it the number three pick, Rico, because I think if it was number one in Trevor Lawrence, it would be a no-brainer. But remember, number number A, number A choice <laughs> A doesn't, doesn't come without some downsides. You don't get Trevor Lawrence. You don't get Stafford for one more year to, you know, kind of ease in the rookie. And you don't get to trade Stafford. He walks out on you. There's dead cap liability. There's all kinds of things. Choice B is interesting because you have to remember, what would the mindset be in this town if they made a raucous run for the playoffs and not only do they get in, but you have Stafford out dueling Russ and they win their first playoff game since 91. And instead of the quarterback thing, everyone's bought into Stafford. Everyone goes, all right, we don't need to talk about this anymore. He did it. Like, he beat good teams, and he, he put this team on his back, and he won us a playoff game. Like, I worded it very specifically because there, there's the psychological angle to it. Now, you're right. Keeping Quinn and Patricia is a high cost. But very. You also get, but you're getting something that I think people really want. I mean, listen. I can't go and do it over. There was a part of me that thought about, hey, do I make it so they win the division and get a home playoff game? The problem, nobody could go to it. It doesn't carry the weight that it would carry in a normal year. That's true. But I think there are a lot of people, Rico, who might be not scared to call, but they just feel they'll get made fun of. I, I, I'm, that's not how I'm approaching this topic. Well, Mike, look, I, I, got, everyone... I got burned because I moved the line, but I would even be willing to take your choice A, and say the Lions finish 4-12, and 12, they have the sixth pick and get Trey Lance, the quarterback from North Dakota State. I would still wow. say A. Wow. That's ballsy. I dig it. All right, let me throw the number out. Let's see where the people are at on this. And certainly we can hear from David. And, 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 and look, I don't know that there's a wrong answer because it's about what you feel in your heart. It's about It's really gauging whether you're going to begin to root against your own team. And if your answer is no, that's okay. And that's why I offered you choice B. 248-539-9797. Phone lines wide open. Get